Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to do image processing with a database. So strictly speaking, we are not doing actual image processing in database. We are just calculating uh, Euclidean distance between two vectors. So I hope uh, you are, if you are interested in uh, how the uh, Euclidean distance have anything to do with face detection, you can read this paper i will leave the link in uh, in the description so what we are essentially doing is we are generating a 128 uh, numbers for every face like this number will be unique for each face uh, and if if this uh, if the distance between two uh, two vector is under a certain threshold we can safely say those are uh, same phase so what we do is we get an input we will uh, input image we will calculate the face embedding and store it in the database and we will do it for all the images for that uh, for the data set and we will get a new sample size sample image and we uh, calculate the 128d vector for that image and we will uh, like we will essentially we will compare that uh, incoming value to the entire database and which one is closest to it uh, with euclidean distance is the smallest between uh, the database and the incoming uh, value if it is extremely small then we can safely assume that those two faces are of uh, are from a same person okay so that is essentially uh, how face recognition works and so i'm actually not uh, well versed in how the mathematics behind it works but i'll uh, link this uh, uh, paper in the description and you can just read it uh, so if you want a python example without using any database you have this in dlib's website uh, actually dlib is uh, is a machine learning uh, tool it is a toolkit for machine learning so it is similar to tensorflow it has uh, for c++ and python only i guess so yeah let me jump to programming so I am just going to clone this repository. So I will just uh, start fresh. I am just going to open CVTute. Just going to remove the existing uh, file. Keep clone the repository. So it is cloning. In the meantime, we need to do some other things like we need to install uh dlib dlib we need to install uh psycho pg2 psycho pg2 this is the database driver for python this will uh, we will use this library to communicate with the database server which is postgresql so i will uh, just show you in a minute how to configure the database server using docker so you will have a docker compose file in the repository and you can just um, run docker compose up and you are good to go if you are already uh, configured docker and docker compose environment in your system uh, here i'm not going to show you how to uh, configure everything like uh, configure comp docker compose docker those things you can just uh, google it and uh, install it and uh, i have i have docker version 20.10 installed currently okay so it doesn't matter which version you are using so i already have a docker uh, thing running here so docker compose down so the file is cloned now it is cloned so i'm just moving to that directory so 
this is the directory that we have here so this is the repository that i have pushed to my github uh, github page so you can just uh, open visual studio code here so we have the docker compose file here so once you install docker compose you can just uh, come to this directory and uh, run docker compose up docker compose up uh, actually let me execute it in separate uh, console so that you can see it clearly i guess you can see docker compose up so it is creating some um, so if you run this for the first time docker will pull all the images from the cloud and the docker images will be populated and then it will start executing it uh, so since i have all the docker images locally it is uh, just executing it right away and now if you uh, run it uh, straight away you will see this error here uh, it is due to an issue um, in file permission directory permission so in order to fix the directory permissions um, the pg admin 4 directory has to be uh, owned by 5050 user 5050 so i think it is uh, unique to ubuntu so i'm not sure about other platforms but in ubuntu you have to do this in order to get your postgres admin working so yep if i do that the pg admin will uh, will start i guess i'm just going to open localhost 8086 so where this port comes from you can go to your uh, docker compose file and see here the port 80 of this uh, image is mapped to 8086 of my local system so if i enter localhost 8086 in my browser i am actually accessing this pg admin for uh, web application served from docker okay you can say pg admin default email and password is configured here you can just copy this and enter open cv here to log in so this is the pg admin this is uh, this is actually an optional step but it will help you uh, if you are going to use postgresql frequently so i am just creating a new server it's actually not creating a server i'm just connecting to a server so the host name or address uh, this is another unique thing to ubuntu i guess you have if you enter local host and your username and password you may not uh, you may not be able to like uh, login So this username and password you can find in uh, the same docker compose file you see open cv the default uh, postgres login name is postgres so i'm just using it so it is postgres and open cv as you can see it is throwing error like localhost port fail uh, what you have to do in ubuntu is you can just run docker ps to get all the running containers and you have to find the postgres so you have to find the container id and docker uh, inspect docker inspect and paste the container id you will get this ip address ip address of that container so i just copy the postgres containers ip just 
making sure it is postgres not pg admin yeah it is postgres okay so now i'm going to paste it here and hopefully we can connect it yeah we are connected to the database and since i installed it uh, just now we don't have anything here nothing is populated nothing is available anywhere so yep, let's just jump to the code and uh, see how to create sql functions so this is the first method you have to uh, take care of like you have to change the host address here to login login to your uh, postgresql server so this uh, these values postgres and opencv are already populated in your uh, docker compose.yml file so from there i already copied these values here username password everything so it should just run and also you may have to like save the file once you change this ip i'm going to run python 3 create sql functions so done it i just executed uh, the sql command and you can see some activity here and if you refresh you can find in the schemas you can find your function generated here two functions are generated a table is generated here and this uh, face table is going to be our uh, database like it's, it is going to be the storage of our data okay it has an id with data type begin it has a name with uh, varying characters and it has a face embedding that is double precision array this is uh, this is double precision is uh, nothing but float and id is going to be our primary key so that's all that uh, that's all to the database table and the function let's go to the function so this this uh, sql query will generate two functions here so i'll show you as you can see it is the euclidean distance calculating uh, a sql function uh, i'm not going to pretend like i actually understand this i am not uh, well versed in sql at all so this uh, i just uh, got this sql from from some guy in stack overflow okay so i just copied this function so <clears throat> if you have any doubts regarding the sql function uh, ask in the comments but uh, i am not actually i am not entirely sure how this function works to be honest okay then uh, let's move on to the uh, face embeddings.py so here we are going to generate the required embeddings so in order to do that we need a lfw data set so lfw data set can be um, downloaded from the from the kaggle from kaggle lfw data set you can just search and get it from kaggle so just download it and uh, extracted it in my home directory so i am just going to copy the file to this directory here i'm just going to paste here so as you can see it is very huge uh, file so 13233 images are there so yep it, it copied let's jump here let's see as you can see lfw is uh, copied to our what directory so i just named it lfw and uh, yep this update table function will uh, populate the data from uh, read from the lfw database and just uh, push it through the 
PostgreSQL. So actually what it is doing is folder exec function is called. So it comes here and just uh, iterate through all the files in the work directory and just reads the file and uh, loads it in image. And we are just calculating the face embedding using the get face embedding method. This method is available in another file called face recognition functions. So here we have multiple functions that we use frequently. Okay. So yep, get face embedding will get the face description or face embedding here. And we are just converting that uh, face embedding vector into Python's built-in list data type so that we can just easily update it into the table. So as you can see, we are just updating it into this method. And yeah, let me execute this function. Python 3 face embeddings.py. This will uh, generate so yep i think i haven't changed the ip here so it will be in face recognition functions so there it is yep from here i'm just going to copy the ip to the face recognition functions because this this is where our uh, uh, database connection is established in face recognition functions and i'm just going to run method again so as you can see it is generating the face embedding and just updating it into our uh, pg admin you can go to database and see the activity network activity here so it is just reading and writing to the postgresql database so it is just uh, going over all the files in this lfw uh, directory i am just going to close it now since uh, it might have it might take lots of time to completely finish this so i just uh, quit it using q key because i added it uh, base embedding to bypass the execution so here you can see just press Q when it is running to just uh, break out of the loop and if you just leave it uh, it will just execute until the end of LFW so it will take a very very long time so yep, you prepare your data set accordingly and yep let's see the face table so to see that we can go to query tool we can just write uh, select from face table so this will as you can see it has created it has calculated 190 um, 190 data uh, face face data and uh, populated our uh, face table so from this we can uh, like select anything and we can query for any particular face so i'm going to do that with the main function so main.py so i think i have this herbogen.jpg in my temp directory Yep, I have this image here. So this is Harbhajan Singh, Indian cricketer, if you don't know. And we have in our home, we have Harbhajan Singh in the LFW. Okay, Harbhajan, so this is him, okay. Now I am just going to run the main function. Just right click and uh, 
run python file in terminal as you can see it just returned that uh, table like it is returning 159 which is the it may be the id harbhajan singh the name and this is like um, the actual harbhajan.jpg the calculated face embedding uh, the distance between the calculated face embedding from harbhajan.jpg and the actual value stored in our database so let's try another uh, person like uh, let's see who else is here face table order by face table name ascending let's see angelina julie I'm just going to save this image, naming it as Julie. So I'm just changing it to Julie.jpg and I'm just running it again. So now it should return uh, Angelina Julie. Julie.jpg not available. Why? jpeg the name is jpeg as you can see it is returning angelina jolie and uh, the euclidean distance between the actual face actual input and the value stored in the database is 0 0.4799 so that's it so you can do uh, with your face also with uh, by using your uh, face embeddings.py and uh, changing it from folder execution to cam execution but i am not sure about the accuracy uh, okay let's try it with my face uh, before doing that uh, make sure you use an id that is larger than uh, actual number of entries in your uh, database because this value will if it is let's say if it is 169 it will uh, erase this angelina jolie and uh, populate my face value in there so i'm just going with 1001 so hope that makes sense i'm going to run this Python 3 face embeddings.py. So the frame rate is not good when it is uh, detecting the face. So I am just pressing R. So it says updated successfully here. So you can just press Q and exit out of this. So now if you go to your uh, PG admin 4 and run this query again at 1001 you can find your uh, face embedding yeah here here it is you can see my face embedding is stored here and uh, I am just going to run it with my own face one of my uh, stored image let's see how it goes so, to home pictures and this is me
I'm just going to store it in temp directory. So we are going to run it in main out.jpg is my file, I guess. Yeah, out.jpg. I'm just going to run this. Python 3 main.py. It should return Rajesh. Yeah, it, it returns Rajesh. So I think uh, it uh, it helps someone. So if you have any doubt, just uh, ping me or you can just uh, contact me via my Instagram or via Twitter. I'll leave the link in the description. So have a good day. Bye.